Today we're traveling. I'm like the safest person to travel with. My husband has always taught me to be aware of my surroundings. And so anytime I get to the hotel, I always clear the room. I'm gonna show you. All I have is my pepper spray now because I got my knife and taser confiscated. I clear every door, every crevice, the tub, the closets. I'd be like, da! What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So I found out this morning that I'm going out of town for work. I honestly hate traveling you guys like to me it's so draining so I came up with this fabulous idea I'm gonna take y'all with me so we can suffer together <laughs> I think the pepper spray is lingering <coughs> that stuff is no joke you guys are gonna come on the road with me you're gonna see how I prep for travel how I travel what I do when I travel so it's 9.30 right now. My goal is to get out of here by one. That's likely not gonna happen because I always run late. You know what? No, I'm not gonna think negatively like that. Like new year, new me, we're gonna get out of here by one. I still have to meal prep my breakfast, do some light packing, pick up my car rental, and I already booked my hotel. So I called the hotel and it looks like their gym's not gonna be open because of the whole pandemic. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack some workout gear so I can work out in the room. I also requested to be on the first floor just because I know I'd probably be jumping and stuff, so I didn't wanna be that hotel guest. I also made sure with the hotel that they'd have a fridge. I'm gonna be bringing my meal prep with me, so enough to last me a couple days just in case. Yeah, you guys, I have about three and a half hours till go time, so let's make breakfast. Let's do a taste test. Oh, it's good. I also wanted to add onions, but I didn't have time. All right, y'all, so I have some bad news. It's already 12.50 p.m. I don't think I'm gonna make my one o'clock deadline. What's wrong with me? Let's push the new goal to 3 p.m. Okay, I just picked up my rental. Still have to go home, finish packing. I don't think I'm gonna get out of here till like four o'clock. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I pack. So I do bring these resistance bands with me. I think I got these for free. Actually, you know what? I think I stole these from my sister's K-Swiss. Do they even still make that for me? I also typically bring a set of loop resistance bands. These particular ones I purchased online and I will link them in the description box. Um, I know a lot of people like the cloth resistance bands. I personally am not a fan. I'm more of a fan of this rubber type of material. It comes in different colors. It indicates the resistance on the band. This one's extra heavy. But yeah, it's nice because it comes in this pouch. It's nice and compact. As you can see, it's literally like the size of my palm. It's easy to pack and travel with. As part of my last meal, I'm gonna have um, one of these yogurts. I've showed it to you guys before, but this time instead of the vanilla flavor, I'm gonna have the chocolate. This is the first time I've actually hit my macros since dieting and I'm traveling. So yay me. Uh, I don't have a, all I have is a fork. Crap, celebrated too early. Did I tell you guys that traveling isn't luxurious? I have such a big appetite, you guys. 
it doesn't matter how full I am, I'm never going to tap out too early and not finish my macros because I'm too full. I'm officially done with my meals for today with four minutes to spare. Hey guys, I just got to my hotel. So let me go ahead and give you a little room tour. Um, it is a suite. So you have a kitchenette. I don't plan on cooking, but it's nice to have that option. A full size fridge, little dining area, lounge area, working station, king bed, a closet, nothing special about the shower. It actually looks really old fashioned. Yep, that's about it. So let me show you guys what I typically pack. I always have my work backpack, Samsonite luggage, and then that's my personal bag. Now I wanted to show you guys my cooler. So I bought this several years ago and honestly, this is probably like my second time using it. it basically sits on this wheel. So it's easy to transport. I think it's meant for camping, but you know what? You can use it however the hell you like. So this part comes open. Um, it has some cup holders. I, I wasn't sure if they were gonna have like utensils and plates. So I have my rice and I feel it, it is still cold. Beans. I have my um, egg white bites, my ground turkey. I have several of these ice packs, holy guacamole, little snack packs. I like this because there's this removable compartment. So let's say you wanted to put like your contents in here, but maybe you wanted to slip some ice packs all around the side, you can do that. Or if you wanted to just go ahead and toss ice in uh, on throughout the edges, you can do that too. So that way your food is not getting wet. But yeah, love this thing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all this to the fridge and I'm gonna go ahead and refreeze my ice pack. And I left at 4 p.m. It's now 10 o'clock, so it lasts very long. Don't judge me, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and wipe everything down. My sister found a heat workout video that I'm gonna go ahead and do tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and get changed and see you in a bit. workout by Sydney Cummings, a 30 minute fat burning hit workout. That shit was so hard. All right, just to keep it real, my stomach is not the leanest. Like sometimes I end up super, super bloated. This has gotta go. Classic Cody Express. No, I don't wash my hair every day. Got a problem with that. All right, you guys, I'm tired. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Learn a thing or two about what to do and a lot of what not to do. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. There was this one time where I did get my knife confiscated um, by TSA. There was also that time that I got my taser confiscated. Look, I have an emergency bag for work and I just keep my stuff in there at all times so i forget to take it out anyways 
the airline was quite dramatic about it. They told me to have a seat and I thought maybe they were just gonna fill out some paperwork, confiscate my item. They called the police on me, y'all. The officer was like, ma'am, why do you hate your country? No, just kidding. He was actually really cool. You're safe with me, you guys, trust me. I need to practice my evil laugh.